Hello, Mayday family. How are you doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Mayday and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. Like this video for the YouTube algorithm as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Hola, hola, Mayday familia. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están haciendo? Un buen día hoy. I hope you guys are having a good day. I appreciate you for joining me on this video today. So today I want us to talk a little bit more about the famous, I swear, like, <laughs> this happens so often like the famous catchphrase just go with the flow right and what that actually means and i'm talking specifically about say for example mostly this is either you're already in a relationship and maybe something happens and now your partner is telling you well you just need to go with the flow right like if there was an argument like something that's really emotionally charged happens and you were upset about something and now you have your partner telling you oh that's on you you just need to learn how to go with the flow right or i also see this very very often for people that are out there dating right they'll meet someone they're like oh this person's so cute this nice person you know um i want to be in a relationship and they might they share that with the other person like Hey, I want to be in a relationship. This is what I want. What are you looking for? Or they might not even share it. And the person voluntarily gives the information like, oh, I'm just wanting to go with the flow. I just want to kind of see where things go or what happens. So today I, I, I feel like it's a really good topic for us to talk about because this happens so often. And I'm here to tell you what it really means when someone says that to you right so if you like say you're on a second date with someone and the honestly this should be coming up on the first date but i understand that some people might not want to bring certain topics up on a first date so that's fine too but i i would bring it up first to third date you should really be on the same page actually third date might be too far out, depending on how often and regularly you're seeing each other. So at least the first or second date, this should, this conversation should be happening in some way, shape, or form. Because it, you, I mean, depending on how you approach it, it doesn't have to be the most serious conversation, um, um, aura, you know. But nonetheless, it's all saying the same thing, right? It all leads to the same um, question, <laughs> essentially. So. If you're dating someone, you're on a second date and the topic comes up and he tells you, yeah, like right now, I'm just, you know, I don't, I don't know that I'm wanting a, a real relationship right now or something um, like that. I'm just kind of wanting to see how it goes. I'm just kind of going with the flow of things. That, I'll tell you right now, that should be a giant red flag for you. Giant red flag. If someone is not wanting a relationship, not even like it has anything to do with you, because it's not like they could really know anything about you by a second date. Even if you made mistakes before the first date, if someone isn't willing to learn more about you, I mean, there's no way they could know about you just because you, you made a mistake before the first date or on the first date. Like, who cares about that, right? If it's something that's not like super creepy, like, I found you stalking me or something, or, you know, you tried to kiss me and I said, no, you know, it's not something super outrageous like that. If they just said something or whatever, then um, you can't base who that person is based off of that. And if that other person doesn't understand that and they just make assumptions like, oh, they said X, Y, Z, you know, and then they dip out and that's not the one, that's not the one for you. That's not the one that you want. Right. So when, a guy says that to you or a girl, whoever it is, when they say that to you, I'm not ready, please take them at face value because they're really not ready. If you know and you are in a place where you are ready for a serious relationship, you have done the work because it usually takes a long time to mentally get to a place where you're like, I'm willingly choosing this because I'm in a place where I'm ready for that phase of my life. You done the mental gymnastics you you you've done the work you you know you are there it's what you want right even if it's in a, at an early age it's what you want and so if you're dating someone that's not there yet 
or not sure, that's a problem. You don't want to be stuck with someone that's not sure. That's not going to be a fun process for you, right? And so what they're essentially telling you is exactly what they're saying. That's, that's what I want. If you don't take anything else from this video, I want you to take that, right? Take them at face value. Believe them when they tell you that. And if that doesn't match up with what you want and what you want is to be in a relationship and you know that, opposite direction, right? It's not going to work. We're not on the same page. See ya. That should be it. And you have to do that early on. And this is why I encourage people to, sometimes I, I turn into a little bit more like a coach, but I encourage people to, to get, this, get this information by the second date. Because if you have to cut it off, it's a hell of a lot easier, excuse my French, but it's a hell of a lot easier to cut it off after two dates than it is if you keep waiting and waiting and waiting. You know, and I and also what you need to make sure that you're not doing is building a fallacy, building a story out of nowhere concerning this particular person. So they look good. Now all of a sudden you guys must be great together. They're nice to you because they opened your door. Now all of a sudden he must be a great dad. He, he'll probably make a great dad. Right? So we need to make sure that we're not doing that. Because honestly, you don't know this person will be a great dad. You, you don't have a kid together. <laughs> so even if you're together for years, you couldn't really say this person will be a great dad because they're a nice person or they're great in a relationship. You could say they have um, potential, but I mean, that's about it, right? A lot of us take it too far. And so unless you have a child with this person and they are actually a great dad, you can't really say for certain who or what that person will be or is capable of being, right? You can kind of see potential, but don't confuse potential with facts. Don't, con don't confuse potential with the here and now. And that's what a lot of us tend to do. I've done it. I thought, well, I fell in that trap lots of times. That's how I know, right? No, that's part of the reason I know. So what you don't want to do is take that on yourself. And so when someone is telling you, let's just go with the flow, and you know that's not what you want, you're in a place where you know you want to be in a committed relationship, you want to find a partner, do says, bye, I'm out of here. It's not a good fit because essentially what that person is telling you is that they're going to hurt you. What that person is telling you is that they're not on the same page as you. They don't want the same things as you. They are just not there. They're not in the same space that you're in. And you can't be in a one-sided relationship. That almost never works out, right? It has to be the both of you, right? And you cannot take on responsibility for getting him to a place where he's ready or getting her to a place where she's ready. You can't take on that responsibility because it's not your responsibility to take on, right? So imagine how hard it is to have to keep track of yourself, the things that come out of your mouth, of your growth, and now you want to do that for someone else too? How's that going to work, right? So it, it, it wouldn't work, right? So if that person is telling you that's where I'm at, then you need to take that on their advisement and say, hey, you know, that's not where I'm at. I, you know, I already know what I want, so it's not going to work for me. Good luck. Right? Another thing that that person is telling you is that they're most likely not going to put in a lot of effort into building anything significant. So if you have anything significant with this person and you end up moving forward anyway, what's going to happen or most, what most likely is going to happen is that you're going to end up putting in way more work than this other person is going to end up putting in. And even if this other person puts in a good amount of work, where is that going to lead to if they don't even know what they want <laughs> or they, they know what they want? And they're, they're telling you that what they want is it to be in a relationship. So what's the purpose? What's the end goal? And so I have to remind people a lot of times when it comes to relationships, 
and looking for a relationship. You want to be very purposeful. You want to be intentional. There's no, let me just go with the flow, right? No, you want to be very intentional at the very least with the fundamentals. Do we both want to be in a relationship? Yes, because you can't control another person world or perception right like you can only control you so unless that person gets there on their own that's a problem right unless they're already there that's a problem and so the timing has to be right as well so that's what i want you to be aware of like when they say things like that to you don't start thinking okay i'll just go with the flow i'm just taking it to literally i'm just no because when it comes to relationships, you have to be intentional about that. You want to be intentional about that. You, that, that, you don't want that to just be some, some accident that just happened one day. That's how people get stuck with each other. Next thing they know, they're 10 years in and they don't know what to do, but they don't want to slip because it's been 10 years, you know? So you want to be intentional. You want to know who you are, know yourself, know what you want. So when you go into these dates, and they tell you something like that, you know that's a red flag because it's not even, it's not really matching up with where you're at, right? For several reasons. And so they're essentially telling you, hey, there's a good chance I'm not really going to put in the effort that I could put in because I don't want a relationship right now. I'm not in that space right now, right? And you might never even know because you're getting the version of him or her that doesn't want a relationship. And that's the only version that you know. And so you don't know what the other side looks like, where even if they're already super sweet to you, they well, damn, it could be a lot better, right? If this person was actually invested, I wonder how good it might be. So you're already starting with missing out on things that you deserve and getting less than you deserve because this person is not on the same page as you. So again, I want you to do the, the, the kind of the mental processing of that because that means a lot of things, but I don't want this video to go on for too long. But if nothing else, just understand that when someone says that to you, right, they're essentially wanting you to be on their timing, which shouldn't be the case. Everyone is on their own timing. <laughs> I shouldn't have to work on your timeline by your guidelines, right? I have my own timeline, my own guidelines, and the way that I do things. And I shouldn't have to um, change that on behalf of someone else, right, necessarily. If we want to compromise, that's great, but we can't even compromise on this because we're not even on the same page to begin with, right? We're not on the same understanding. We're not on the same wavelength, right? Same thing if you get in a fight with your partner or something and, and they're saying oh you just need to go with the flow well first of all that's invalidating your feelings right making you feel like you're in a crazy one because you're upset about said issue and that's an issue as well that that will need to be addressed because you just because they go with the flow and something doesn't mean that you have to do the same thing again you can't force someone to work on your timeline in the way that you want them to do it when it comes to relationships. That's with any relationship, friendships, romantic relationships, family relationships. That's with any relationship, right? And that's what makes relationships so challenging. It's because you're literally meshing one world, planet Earth, and you're trying to mesh that with, Pluto's not a planet anymore, so Jupiter, right? And you're trying to bring those together. How's that gonna work, right? It's really hard, it's really tough. And you can't tell Jupiter to get on the same wavelength as planet Earth. Jupiter is Jupiter. Planet Earth is planet Earth, right? And so you start seeing how it doesn't, it actually doesn't make sense. But what a lot of people do is they blame themselves. They beat themselves up. Oh, maybe I should just learn how to go with the flow more. That's not true. You know, compromising is different from someone just telling you to go with the flow. Like, what is that? I don't even know what that means. You know what I mean? I was like, I would have to ask so many more questions when it comes to that. If I'm already in a relationship with someone and you're telling me that, right? So just keep that in mind. Um, I know this is a big topic or can be a big topic. So leave comments below, any questions that you might have, any other topics you want us to talk about. 
um, go ahead and subscribe. Helps out the channel a lot. Enjoying the Mayday Humidia. And go ahead and like the video if you found it at all helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.